And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Hecarim Z Ephemerals to kick off our meme tier Monday today. This one should be pretty fun. We're going to be playing Ephemerals and playing some cards we don't play all of the time. Um, kind of looking at this list, this was a viewer submitted donation deck. All three of these decks that we're playing today are all built by viewers and they've been playing them. Looking at this one, you know, we're going to be playing Ephemerals with Shark Chariot, Silent Shadow Seer, that kind of stuff. We're going to be playing three copies of Sapling Toss to go along with Mask Mother. I thought that was like looking pretty cool. You know, like we have Shadow Fiend and Sapling Toss with Mask Mother. Um, Mask Mother just seems kind of awesome with a lot of these, actually. You know, it's good with Shark Chariot. It seems pretty good with Silent Shadow Seer also getting um, elusive. You can turn Mask Mother into being a 5 3 elusive. Like that seems pretty cool. So we have lots of cheap ephemerals. Bark Beast, Mass Mother, and Zed for other very aggressive, uh, you know, cheap units. We're gonna have Death Marks in here. Uh, Mark of the Isles, you know, granting plus two, plus two Ephemeral. Like, that also works with Death Mark, you know, so we can make Zed, like, a 5-4 Ephemeral and then get rid of the Ephemeral with the Death Mark. That could be kind of cool. Then looking at our top end, we're gonna have Neverglade Collector draining for each time these Ephemerals die. Hecarim, of course, being awesome. Those will be two of our top end cards. And then some top end spells. One Dawn and Dusk. And three Shadow Flare. That one's pretty interesting, giving all battling followers ephemeral. Um, we can use this in a couple of different ways. One, we can use it whenever our opponent's attacking to like kill all their stuff. But we can also use it whenever we're attacking and give everything ephemeral and, to, and have like a surprise kill if we have like a leveled up Hecarim. Um, and then, you know, suddenly, oh, whoops, I'll, they all have plus three, plus zero, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Uh, who knows? I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, you know, it's just interesting. You know, you know, they submitted a deck with three Shadow Flares. Not a card I usually play. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Maybe we have a bunch of our stuff die, and that helps out Neverglade Collector after the Shadow Flare. Who knows? Anyway, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and, and try out some Hecarim Zed Ephemerals. It's Meme Tier Day. We're going to be just playing our games in normal. Yeah, Shadow Flare is a spicy one. Yeah, chat goes, that's spicy, and I never use Shadow Flare, but we'll see it in action. All right, so we're gonna have to race Puff Caps. This looks like a pretty good opening hand, I think. I don't really see anything that I want to get rid of, necessarily. So we'll see if they have round one Teemo. Ooh, we got Bark Beast. Okay, right there. If they had round one Teemo, we were going to have, like, Sapling Toss be able to challenge the Teemo. The I want to round three go Shadow Fiend plus Mask Mother. That's my hope for round three. <laughs> Alright, we got our first Ephemeral attack. I guess I can also just like play a couple of sapling tosses this round and have those for next round and like That's maybe not so bad either. And give me a good challenger for the you know, just kill the puff cat pup. challenge that thing. Alright, so four mana. Don't want to give Mask Mother elusive. I don't think so. I think we go double Shadow Fiend Mask Mother. Tell 
attacking for a lot. Oh. The old purple berry shake. Block. So still, they're at 7. And I have a 3 3 and a 6 2 fearsome in play. So not bad, not bad. Make a 5 3 fearsome elusive. Hecarim! I was planning on going Dawn and Dusk on the Mass Mother, but there's also, like, kind of something scary. You know, like, we could play Silent Shadows here and Dawn and Dusk, but the scary thing is they could use, like, you know, removal in response to them. All right, so unfortunately, they had uh, something to kill my Hecarim. Ooh, Neverglade Collector would be good. Lovely day for a battle. No, my Dawn and Dust. Okay, let's go ahead and play another Neverglade Collector. So now if they kill one, then the other drains him. I think that may finish it out. If they pass, they lose. I don't, I don't see how they can get out of this. If they do that, they lose. All right, cool. We'll take the win. Double drain from Neverglades. GG's. All right, that was pretty good. GG's. Ren Shadow Blade's an underplayed card. That's an underplayed card right there. Okay, no champs. Noxus Freljord. Maybe some Yetis. All right, we'll get rid of the ghost. I'm gonna keep the rest. That was pretty clean. Oh, that looks like a Yeti deck to me. Ow. We're here at the Haunted Grounds. Spooktober. <laughs> Alright, so same start as last time. What would be pretty nasty is if they had a Brittle Steel and they like Brittle Steel my Silent Shadow Seer so it doesn't do damage, so it doesn't die, and then they get to block and kill my Bark Beast. That'd be pretty nasty. Okay. Alright, very good. Lots of silent shadows here. So, oh, kind of hoping they don't have any of the eight mana yetis. Just go ahead and pass. Ooh, good. No eight mana yetis. All right, let's go ahead and. I guess Shadow Flare could be pretty awesome for this matchup. Uh, all right. So I can Mass Mother and get a five three elusive, or I could just play this other silent shadows here. I attack for six. Mm. I think I'll play the mass mother. The mass tell their tale. 
could have grown at plus two, plus two first and made it a seven, five elusive, I suppose. Yeah, they're a frostbite. Oh, they just drew that guardian. That's too bad. Few are in the right to call themselves Trifarian. <sighs> I don't know exactly why I played the sapling toss right there. Probably should not have. I don't really know why I did now looking back at it. Alright, let's kill all units with five or less power. Yeah, that was a waste of a sapling toss, because I should play it for defensive purposes anyway. Wait, if you had Troll Chant, why aren't you doing that to just, like, kill my Mass Mother before that Reckoning? Again, why am I not playing that Sapling Toss for defense purposes to save 5 life? All right, but this time we're gonna play Neverglade Collector next round, so the sapling toss will be good. Patience. So the best card is like Culling Strike, but that still is lethal even if they have Culling Strike. And there we go. All right, Hecarim Z two and O. Oh. And we haven't even like, you know, usually with like Zed decks you went on the back of Zed, and we haven't even had like a good Zed hand. Gotta face a very defensive oriented deck. This could be difficult. Uh, Alright, so we have Shark Chariot on two, Zed on three. Maybe we'll just keep all this, because like Neverglade, like even though we're not playing Neverglade or Hecarim for a long time, they're both like very powerful cards. And we kind of assume that, you know, drawing one card around by like round four will draw other things to play, considering most of our. Uh, deck does have pretty cheap stuff. Let's wait on that sapling toss. That's a good draw, though. I like that sapling toss. That'll help Zed out. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Oh man. Now what? I was very content just to open attack here. Now 
I feel like we gotta play Mass Mother. So the problem with playing Mass Mother is they play Yasuo, or like then, or like they stun first. I, I we should probably just attack. Yeah, really, the thing is like they stun, they stun Zed, and then I don't get like any of these other attackers in. It's already four out of seven for Hecarim. That's a really difficult thing about Yasuo is, you know, we like have to open attack even though I'd rather not. Yeah, you know, I'd rather play this other stuff first, but that's just kind of how it is against Yasuo because then they stun and hurt things. Um. So it's basically, do I want to... Yeah, this is the Dark Star Zed skin, yep. And so yeah, his Living Shadow has a skin and he's got a, a unique animation. So they're gonna like stun Zed. Or not, okay. Hopefully this works. Wow, so they didn't have a stun card. Wow, that's great. So we get to kill Yasuo. And get to do a lot of damage to them. Alright, so they're at six. What happens if I Dawn and Dusk the Neverglade Collector? Okay, they just, yeah, they're, they're gone, so they're about to go to five. I was wondering, because, you know, Don, the Neverglade Collectors would have been on the, like, do they all die at the exact same time? Or would have been, like, the Zed Living Shadow die first, and so then we drain for three, and then, you yeah, know, the first Neverglade dies, and so we drain for two, and so on. I wonder exactly how that would have worked. Yeah, got it. Okay. Looks like chat saying that they think that it would have been like that, that they would have died individually, not like all at the same time. Because like if you have like three Neverglades in play and then they ruination, you know, like they all die at the same time and you don't get any drains. But uh, yeah, so it looks like, so I think they, uh, chat thinks they would have, it would have worked out well for me. It would have died individually. Kindred Nasus? Okay, so probably like a Thresh Nasus deck, but with Kindred. I mean, this is a solid one, two, three again, like we've normally, like we've had. And then I'll just keep Hecarim because Hecarim's amazing and we have the attack token on round six. So uh, let's just kind of keep this and go for it. We keep on having like really good curve outs and everything. Our deck seems pretty awesome. Shadows gather. This is like the third time in four games that we've had this exact 
<laughs> attack on round two. That's pretty crazy. I hope they don't have any kind of, uh, yeah, like exhaust type card or something. No blocks. So I kind of want to just open attack here before they can use a removal spell. But then again, you know, like we have like the Shadow Fiend, Silent Shadow Seer that we want to play also. I kind of want to just open attack. Hmm. Tough call, tough call. Am I flesh or I shadow? These. Where it says open seemed like the correct line. Well, hopefully this works. Because, like, Shadow Isles, Shurima, like, I don't know what they're going to, like, really play that would kill a Zed to start with. Like, I mean, I guess they could have, like, a Despair or something, but I don't expect them to just be able to kill Zed. And I don't think they'd really have, like, a great blocker for Zed, but they could play, obviously they could play something like, you know, like the 4-1 that kills the Curse Keeper, yeah, like that, and they get multiple blockers, and, like, that's fine, I think. Like, that doesn't really hurt. Like, sure, they get two blockers, but I get, like, these cool, these two cool attackers. Okay, I think we'll just let that happen. I, I know I could do two damage to them, but I think we're just gonna let that We will keep Mark of the Isles. Man, that's good too. Ah, uh, you were saying maybe Ravenous Butcher black plus Black Spear would have been a bad combo for me. Expect death. Expect death. Another day in paradise. <laughs> She's gonna be so happy. Should I mark of the Isle, the Neverglade, and kill Kindred? Is that worth? That kind of seems worth. But then what? I don't know, the next round, then I, they have no blockers. I, I don't know, I play Hecarim. And then they have to deal with, like, Zed and Hecarim. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. Kendra's a scary champion. I guess if I do play Hecarim, they play Vengeance. I still attack, I still get to hit him for six. Alternatively, I could go all three of these. You know, Shark Chariot. Oh man, they conceded. I had good lines, I had very, I had multiple good lines. None escape their shadow. But yeah, I think we're, I think we're winning that. And my opponent thought so too. Okay, so I guess we're going to head on over to Ranked. We've had really good hands. We've been winning in normal. So as y'all know, whenever we are 4-0 with a meme tier deck, we head on over to Ranked for game number five. So looks like we're going to take our Zed Hecarim Ephemerals deck to Ranked. Hope we get to continue to have our good hands like we've had. Are we seeing a Zillion Echo deck? All right, let's keep the Mask Mother. We're gonna send these back. We're gonna look for, you know, something else. Okay, so we'll have Bark Beast plus Shark Chariot. Not a bad start. 
<laughs> Rose says, meme tier fight. <laughs> Ooh, we got the ghost. We can go said. Alright, they're getting their blockers. That's they've had a strong start. We can always rely on you to keep two us rounds, four things in play. These are my streets. Free drop borders. Free drop orders, get your free drop orders. I mean, might as well trade, I suppose. You know, it's gonna trade anyway. Do not fear the shrouded path. They could be a mystic shot deck. Yep, that's sad. But that's how it is. So I could Shark Chariot, then Mask, Mask Mother, but then I, we don't get to bring back the Shark Chariots because they killed my Zed. That was like my plan if they weren't going to kill Zed. Hey, Nasher. Yep. Hecarim Zed for Meme Tier. It's been working out for us so far, though. Shadow Flares. It's not a great time for Shadow Flares. So unfortunately, we don't have any we don't have any cards in hand that have any text that is relevant. So I guess we just pass. I don't think we can use Shadow Flare to even bring back Shark Chariots. I don't think. I could kill that, make Mass Mother a 5 2. I guess so. Let your story shine. You know, 5 3 right now, but then it's going to take 1 damage. Oh, that would have been good to have last round. Find the beginning. You know, for 5, hopefully. Okay. Good hit, good hit. Yeah, I wanted to ask you some stuff about the Talia deck. Uh, not sure. Yeah, we have not <laughs> not had any good cards to play here recently, unfortunately. Makes up for our awesome like hands and curves the other rounds, the other four games this game we're just only getting our cheeky little comp you know things that but not like our our good um that's again okay, not our good curve and stuff no attack with the attack with zillion It doesn't really make sense to do Sapling Toss into Hexite Crystal, does it? Hexite Crystal is really good against Shark Chariots. Feature 
Yeah, Rose says our draws won them this game. Yep. What do you call two time traveling uh, They've they've drawn really well. They've done everything they want their deck to do, but Yeah, they had the Mystic Shot for the Zed, that was clutch. And after that we like these Shadow Flayers are <laughs> pretty poor, unfortunately. Yeah, and the, yes, and the time bomb would have just probably killed our saplings. We would have been active player, put it in play. That would have been bad. Well, you had a future. to do to stay alive. Oh. I don't know. We can see if this can be a blocker for me. Because they're just gonna they're gonna make two more time bombs and like they, they should be casting this hexite crystals so they just get another one and this this just it just burns me out. I hope that that's not how that situation would have played out. Okay, so you know, it doesn't work perfectly all five games, but <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, I play Zillion all the times, so I never get that luck. Four time bombs? Yeah, they, they just drew all four time bombs. You know, they're one, they're one, they only had the one Zillion, and yeah, they got every single time bomb. And they got, they immediately played, you know, like they played the, uh, the cat. And then immediately, the very first predict, they get the Hexite Crystal also. So they had a lot of luck there. We had a lot of unluck. And that's how that game went. But still, we'll take a 4-1. Yeah, yeah, can't can't lose sight of that. That was a very good 4-1. Um, but yeah, sometimes you just draw all your Shadow Flares and Ghosts. And they had the they also had you know the, the Mystic Shot that they needed to kill Zed. Besides that other luck, but... I don't know if I mulliganed Hecarim that time. If so, I wish I didn't, you know, because that would have been a very good Hecarim matchup. I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think it would be mulliganed Hecarim, but that would have been a matchup, you know. We didn't we didn't draw an Everglade or a Hecarim, and that was, like, you know, cards that we needed. We needed big health units against them. But that's how it goes. That's how it goes. All right, so I have to say that I was pretty impressed, though, with just, like, the, the deck overall. I liked the curve. I liked how low to the ground it was. I liked Sapling Toss and Shadow Fiend and Mass Mother, and Shark Chariot, and Silent Shadow Seer. I was impressed with all of those different threats. I think the Mass Mother worked really well with all these, and, and of course the Bark Beast. The Bark Beast being one mana, three threes were really good too. So all those threats were really good. Um, you know, and they like these were just like good, cheap ephemerals. I liked that. I liked all those together. We actually never drew a Death Mark ever in any game, so we didn't get to do anything cool with that. Um, but I could definitely see less... Shadow Flare is probably like a cool little one of, right? Like, you probably don't need, because I don't think you'll ever need multiple Shadow Flares in a game. So we could probably have like less, like, Shadow Flare, and I'm not so sure about the go get it. Um, and I, I don't know exactly what else, you know, maybe maybe a little bit of card draw in here, maybe like some Glimpse Beyonds or something to just, you know, be able to get a few cards, uh, be able to help, help you find, you know, if your opponent's playing a little bit of removal, help you find your champions. Um, you know, there's always like twin disciplines that could protect Zed if you want to go that route also, um, or, or stalking shadows, they can go grab a couple of things, you know, so maybe a little bit of card advantage in here over those. Um, but I, I really liked the, I really liked the opening. I was very impressed with sapling toss. And like I said, like these, these different threats, I really liked all of those. Um, I guess you could play, you know, you also could, instead of like shadow flares, you could play a couple of harrowings. 
if you, you know that kind of thing if you want like a top end card like that even like a ledros um you know like those are all those are options as well or rekindler they can bring stuff back if you want something that can help finish out games against removal heavy decks that kill your early threats because i think you need to just be able to continue to bring back uh, shark chariots and as we saw there we were going round after round of like not even be able to bring back shark chariots all right, but that's going to be it, though, for Hecarim Zed. Pretty good little ephemeral deck. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. If you try the deck out yourself, let me know how it goes for you. Or if you, uh, you know, play something over, you know, a ghost or a shadow flare or anything, let me know. Or the go get it. Uh, let me know what kind of other, like, you know, top end finishers you like to see in a deck like this. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next one.